Hello, my name is John Sveck. Uh, welcome to this All24 video. Uh, we're just going to talk about uh, some basic advantages and disadvantages when it comes to two different types of punt protection schemes. Uh, we're just going to talk about a zone scheme and a man scheme. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. Um, here we have on the screen an example of an alignment for a zone scheme when it comes to the punt game. Uh, so a few things you'll notice here. Um, they have four players in the backfield. Uh, Personnel-wise, we'll watch it on the tight view in a minute. Personnel-wise, those are going to be your larger players. They're creating sort of the shield uh, that's going to be back uh, deep in the backfield that's going to protect the punter at the, the point of the punt, so the punt point. Um, then everyone else um, on the punt team is on the line of scrimmage here. Uh, so you get your seven players on the line of scrimmage and then obviously your punter. So what you're going to see when we go to the tight view um, is those splits are very far apart. Uh, that's how they're going to align on this zone scheme. Uh, body types here could include, these are all your cover guys, so body types there could include more of your linebacker or uh, you know running back, fullback, DB uh, sort of positions. So uh, we'll go to the tight view here. As I said, you really see it in the tight angle that those splits are extremely far apart. So you're talking four or five yard splits in between each of these players. Um, the idea is at the snap of the ball, all of these players on the punt team, uh, they're going to zone in a certain direction, right? Whichever way the punt team is, is punting the ball, they're going to zone in that direction. And one of the advantages of this type of scheme is they're all right away into coverage. So they're going to shuffle, cross over, cross someone's face, potentially keep someone off of that shield, and then get right into coverage. So that's a clear advantage of this type of scheme. Um, those guys that are your cover guys, they get into coverage right away. One of the disadvantages uh, is that you just have less cover guys overall. Uh, because you have these four players in the backfield that are usually, again, bigger bodies, um, you have less players in that first kind of wave of coverage. Obviously, these four players in the back here, they can go down and make a tackle as well. But again, you're going to have offensive linemen, defensive tackles, potentially, especially on the inside here, bigger bodies in that back kind of shield. Uh, so really quickly, when we see the ball snapped, we're going to watch the front wall guys. And here they are all zoning to the kick side, right? Every single player is zoning to the kick side. They're going to go cover. You're going to see the shield come together. And again, the angle is going to be based on where your punter likes to take his steps. So however drastic your punter step angles are, you want that shield to come together. And we have a tough snap here, uh, but typically the shield's going to come together right in front of where that punter wants to kick. Uh, and they're going to protect him. So, um, again, not as important for those front wall guys to really block anybody. They're going to slow people down, and then they're going to get right into coverage, and then the shield is going to protect that point of the punt on the back end. So that's a, a quick look at his own scheme. And then here's a look at a sort of more of a man-to-man -man scheme. Uh, so obviously a different kind of formation here. Uh, what you're seeing now is you have your five players on the line of scrimmage here, and then you have a slot and a wide out a slot and a wide out, and now we have two up backs. Uh, so a little bit of a different setup. You'll see when we go to the tight that the splits are a little more orthodox, um, not those wide drastic splits that you saw on the zone scheme. Um, so again, in the man-to-man -man scheme, obviously whatever scheme you want to draw up, um, one of your players is blocking one of the opponents. Uh, so a real simple way to do it is you have the uh, up backs block the players who are off the line of scrimmage. You have your guards and tackles block the players who are on the line of scrimmage and then everyone is accounted for. There's a, someone just on the screen, off the screen there. Uh, so once the ball snapped, you're going to block your responsibility, and then you're going to get into coverage. So a disadvantage there is, you know, these guards and tackles, they have a little more work to do in the protection than you saw in the zone scheme. Uh, so they have to do some blocking before they go downfield. An advantage is now you have these slots and wideouts who can get into kind of coverage right away. And overall, you have more players. Instead of having those four players in the shield who have to wait and protect, you have more players who are getting into coverage, um, although some of them might be delayed a little bit. So again, as with, as with most things that I talk about, um, I don't really favor one over the other. I think each has their advantages, each has their disadvantages, and it's sort of up to you uh, when you look at your team that year and who you have personnel-wise, uh, what kind of scheme you want to employ, what's going to be best for your players to put them in position to, to be successful. So uh, real quick primer on the differences between man and uh, zone punt protection schemes, uh, some advantages and disadvantages of both. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, more at all24.ca.